okay, the fact is what Iran is doing is unacceptable to the national society. They claim that they have nukes. They say that they're gonna destroy uh, history. What they say is they're gonna use nukes to destroy, to wipe Israel out of the surface of this planet. Is that something rational countries are gonna say? It's already shown that Iran is not capable of handling the uh, nukes with on itself at the first place. So let's move on to my rebuttals. My first rebuttal is on that. Iran get, is getting bullied by the Western countries, uh, so it's, they are frustrated or something. So they said, how is that justifiable to them to have nukes? Just because at the first place, the reason that they have get bullied, the reason that other countries sanction them, the reason that no one call, want to cooperate with them is because Iran have nuclear weapons. And with the, this nuclear weapons, okay, you have to compare two countries, okay? You are saying that why US can, why Iran can't have them. US, other country, will they use nuclear weapons without any reason, right? They won't use the nuclear weapons without justifiable reason. And the fact is, the nuclear, the nuclear weapons haven't been used like almost, I don't know, hundreds of years. So, with, right, with those, without any justifiable reason, they won't use it. So, because they are raging, they are raging on now. But compared to Iran, with, even though no one really sure yet that they really have, or they don't really have nuclear weapons just yet, but they already claim, they already say that they're gonna destroy the Israel themselves. They, they already claim that they have nuclear weapons. They already destroy the trust of other country that they can handle this nuclear weapons by themselves. It's already show they are un, that they are uncapable of handling the, this power at the first place. Right? Okay, anyway. On the other hand, even if look, you were saying that Iran, right, they have nuclear weapons and they get moving. Doesn't it mean they, they are already frustrated enough and they want these nuclear weapons in order to fight, in order to win against the Western countries? So it's, isn't it going to create a further harm? Uh, that's why we have to prevent those uh, destruction before it really happens. So let's move on to the next model. Okay. But we think that the country like Afghanistan, which is also a lot that has also opposed nuclear weapons, why don't you take the opportunity to strike them too? Okay, what's this debate about? We are debating about whether we're going to strike Iran or not. We are not talking about Afghanistan or something. That's on the other point. Right? Okay, anyway, uh, let's move on to my next rebuttal. You were, you were saying that the facilities, if it's right, the facility is going to uh, harm other citizens in Iran. So the point is, you have to compare the majority versus the minority. Okay, it's, it's, I know it's not okay at the first place that you're going to strike the citizen, uh, facility and citizen, but you have to know that around the facilities, around the equipment, they already have an area that they have limits in order to prevent their, uh, what's it called, when there's something that happened, they already have area around it that they safe, safety area. Oh, anyway, okay. Even though, even if it's gonna uh, ruin someone's life, it's gonna kill some of their citizens. But that's something acceptable compared to what's really gonna happen if they still gonna have those nukes weapons. Since as I uh, said earlier, that they are not capable to this anyway, right? So. Anyway, you're just claiming that Iran, okay, they already show some kind of cooperation, right? So, yeah, and we know that they so they already cooperation with uh, IAEA. They let them get in their seas that they have nuclear, nuclear facilities, something. But the point is, they shouldn't deserve having a nuclear weapons. And every Many other countries in uh, the world already tell them that they should destroy their own nukes weapons. So they 
And that's something that they would never do at the end of the day. So we have to strike them in order to prevent the further loss. Anyway, let's move on to my arguments. My first argument is Iran doesn't deserve the same rights to own, the rights to own as other countries. Okay, you have to know that the point about equality. Equality only stands as long as they deserve it. Equality in this place, you're saying that when US can't have it, why Iran can't have it, right? So that doesn't, this equality is something that's not, they are not deserving in the first place. And they are the one that, okay. If Iran has passed the IAEA inspection and all the criteria to have a nuclear facility, we don't see why don't they deserve one, because it's not fair when they already passed the inspection and everything else. They passed the inspection on the nuclear facilities, but if they have nukes weapons, I don't say that doesn't mean it means they won't pass the what the inspection requirement. They are not supposed to have the weapons at the first place. With weapons, that means they doesn't pass. That's why we have to strike them. And Iran used to use nuclear facilities as an excuse to develop their nuclear weapon as a first place now, and that now they are claiming that they already have it. So that's something justified that with nuclear facilities, it's just another excuse of developing a nuclear weapon for Iran anyway, right? Anyway, let's move back to the equality point. Iran doesn't deserve the same equality as US because they are not capable of ha handling this power in the first place. As my first speaker have proved to you that, Iran, they abuse their power by threatening many other countries. That's and one of yeah and okay let's and you say that Bangladesh and Singapore are equal. They are not equal in the first place in the term of economics, in term of politics, and other stuff. They are not equal in the first place. The word equality is just something that you can't really prove at the end of the day. And they, if, if they don't deserve it, they don't need it. Okay, we have to take away the gun before they shoot someone, right? We don't, nuclear is a strong, destructive response, right? If they use it, it's something we can't redo. We have to prevent it before the destruction already happened. And if you run away, it's irrational in the first place. Okay, anyway, let's move on to my next argument. Without, Without nuclear weapons, it will benefit both, both sides at the end of the day. Anyway, you have to know that everyone always do this, always want any, something that benefits themselves, right? And now, the, and also the sanction, as the first case I have told you that, the sanction happens before, because Iran has the nukes, and they are treating out many other countries. So now, without nukes, it's gonna, so, other country now do not have any reason to sanction them anymore and ask out what they always say. We're going to remove those sanctions and it's going to benefit the, the Iran themselves because, and it's also benefit the world because everyone's going to be happy. 